And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Baxbuster here with some more Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution Booster Pack openings. Alright. Let's move on down <clears throat> to the card shop. And this time, we're going to be opening up some Arc V Era Booster Packs. I have opened up some and a whole bunch of Zuzu Packs. But the options we have are Gong Strong, Zuzu Boil, Shea... Uh, is it... Is it Declan? Akaba and Yuye, the main character. Alright, let's start with some Gong Strong Packs. And, ooh, Card of Demise. A limited, very nice. Skull Conductor, Sword of Sparkles, Unwavering Bond, Re-Dice Cycle, XX Saber, Samurai Destroyer, and Smile World, a card that I think is not very good. Ooh, that's actually a pretty solid uh, Speedroid. <laughs> of course, it's limited to one. I honestly did not realize that it was limited to one. That That's a really good card. When you uh, use it in the storyline decks. We got Speedroid. Take Tomborg. Flower Cardian. Moon Flower Viewing. Guts of Steel. Flower Cardian. Zebra Grass. Christon. Sulf Sulfoner, Scrapyard, and Scrap Recycler. Not familiar with that card. Hmm, okay, so... You can special summon it during the battle step. Get a thousand life points. And then when you sum after you summon him, you can instantly tribute him to give one of your monsters a thousand attack point boost if you need to get over a particularly stubborn monster. Very cool. Shinranyu Smith, Christan. Thai, oh boy. Speedroid, Din Din, Duke, XX Saber, Garsum, Super Heavy Samurai, Transporter, Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch, and Sphere Karibo. Yeah, I played through most of the uh, Arc V storyline. I'm actually sitting at like 95% complete. I only have like three or four duels left. That's including reverse duels. Like, I only have three or four duels left total, including reverse duels, so... I, uh... I've been making some work on that. So once that's completed, I plan to actually do the original OG Yu-Gi-Oh! And I can't wait to start that. I love the original Yu-Gi-Oh! And I can't wait to see what duels uh, this game represents in it. I know it can't represent every duel, because... There was a lot of duels in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, but I look forward to playing the iconic ones. Oh, fur, uh, fur hires are in this pack. That's kind of cool. Super Heavy Samurais, Shinranyu, High Speed Roids. I got some good cards in this particular pack. Good archetypes. Wavering Eyes, High Speed Relevel, Prediction Princess, Magical Cavalry of 
Uh, I'm not quite sure how to say that. Is the X silent or is the X take over the C? Or is it more like a Z? Zubal? Skull Conductor, Tyramid Hunter, Scrap Orthos, and Tyramid Cruiser. I always thought of the Tyramid Cruiser as the, uh, ah. Oh, the one ship from Star Wars. Tuning Gum. Absolutely disgusting. Looks like a loogie. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Beads. Steel Cavalry of Dynon. Psy Frame Circuit. Ooh, I didn't know I didn't know Wind Witches were part of this particular pack too. Not a very heavily supported archetype, but they do have some fun cards. Double X Saber, Flower Cardian Clover with Boar, Man Dragon. Is that Ferret Flames? Super Every Samurai Soulfire Suit. Dusk Bot 008. I want 007. Ooh. Cool looking card. Oh, the second call. Al Lumen Raj. This card's pretty good too. It uh gets that the tuner out right away so you could summon your uh your boss monster from the speedroid decks. Couple more gong strong packs, and then we'll move on to the next one. Flower Cardian, Light Flare, Scrap Sheen. Psy Frame Circuit, Scrap Shark, Psy Frame Circuit, Dragong, and Kabuki Dragon. Alright. Supersonic Skull Flame, Helmer, Fur Hire, uh, Secret Blast, Scrap Orthos, Scrap Hunter, Psychic Blade, Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler, and Pendulum Storm. Alright, let's move on to some Shea Packs. Oh, Trap Tricks! That's a fun archetype. Once again, not super heavily supported, but fun nonetheless. Palezoic, Polychimeritic, Dry... Diozerg, Digital Bug Cenobite, Chaos Trap Hole, that sounds fun, The Phantom Kings of Shade, Brigade, Brigaden, Chain Summon, Ooh, Super Gauntlet Mech Beast Magna Liar. Looks cool. Probably not that good, though. I don't know. It might be the best card in the game. Who knows? Got more Trap Tricks. Oh, Teller Knights. Interesting. Oh, we got Burning Abysses as well. Wow. We got some solid cards in this particular set. This particular pack. Magical Musketeer Wild. Oh, I used to actually use that card back when it first came out. Uh, it was uh, Order of Chaos, I believe. That set that had a whole bunch of ninjas in it. Unfortunately, ninjas never really went anywhere, but this was a solid card from that particular set. Constellar Twinkle. Twinkle. When you think about it, that, that's just such a funny word. It's a word that you 
I imagine mostly only uh, little kids would would uh, say. So, Star Teller, Procyon, Sylvan, Lotus Wayne, Star Teller Vega, Regal, Constellar, Area Sa, and Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. Very cool. More trap tricks. Super Quantum Mecha Beast Erboros. Sylvan. Trap Hole uh, of Spikes. That sounds uh, painful and uh, something Vietnam War era. Sylvan Princess Sprout. Sylvan Kumu Shroom. Super Quantum Mecha Ship, Magna Carrier, Trap Trix Mantis. And... The Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Why not Broken Sword? That sounds better. Uh, Bear Blocker, Pale Zoic, Canadian, Raid Raptor. Ooh, Raid Raptors. Awesome. Gear Gaia Attacker. Oh, this particular archetype I think is a lot of fun. Uh, I can't, I, I have a hard time pronouncing it. Uh, it's Lear. Lear. Leary Lucius. This particular archetype is. Amazing. I absolutely love the XYZ from this particular archetype. It is, in my opinion, could be quite broken in particular decks. I actually hope we pull the XYZ just so I can show you. Dante Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. Very nice. Gergayano. There goes the, uh, Slight drift that this controller has, yay. Um, Raid Raptor, Fuzzy Lanus, Sylvan, Gardo Gardoak, Go Go the Gallant Ninja, classic card, Magical Musket, Last Stand. Yeah, that's Musket. Column Switch, and Raid Raptor, Skull Eagle. Ninjutsu Art of Tran- Oh, wait, is that the one that, uh... No, that's not the one. I, I thought that was the one that you needed for, uh... Uh, the one dragon... That... Or the one ninja that would protect all of your, uh... Spell and trap cards. Sky Striker Maneuver, Vic Vector Blast, Hexateller Knight, Trap Hole, Classic Trap Hole, I mean just straight up the original, and Sylvan, Flower Knight. Zodiac, Rat Pyre. Oh, that's actually a really uh, powerful card, it's... Limited to one. Break off trap hole. The Phantom Knight of Ancient Cloak. Go go the Galleon Ninja. Uh, Crimson Ninja. Another classic. St Stellar Nova Alpha and Zodiac Whiptail. Fire Lake of Burning Abyss. Interesting. Black Dragon Ninja. Crimson Ninja. So this one... I kind of have an idea of what's all in this particular pack. Zodiac. Borbol. Oh, this card is straight up banned.
you know, that kind of sucks that you can get cards that are banned and you have a whole playset of them and they're probably never going to be unbanned because they're just too powerful. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, you, you can't take them online for tournaments, but you can take them on, you, you can use them for casual and against computer, but, you know. Like, uh, Graceful Charity. A fantastic card. But it's never going to be unbanned. Digital Bug, Core Bay, Core Badge, Magical Musket, Steady Hands, Star Tiller Knight, Vega, The Phantom Knight of Ancient Cloak, Star Tiller Knight, Altar, Rank Up Magic, and. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one that you can use to summon uh, that one really powerful ninja. Right? No, no, it's not. Dang it. Why can't I... I wonder if it's even in the game, that one particular card. Huh? Mount Sylvan. Cameratech Hyd Hydron Hawk. Interesting. Alright, last pack... From Shay. Ooh, we in strong too. Virgil, Rockstar, the Burning Abyss. Very powerful card for Burning Abyss decks. Another Burning Abyss. And Star Teller Knight, Sirius. Let's open up another gong just for fun. Pyramid Sphinx, Scrap Kong, Angel Trumpeter, okay, not bad. Now, Delkin, I've never opened up a single pack from either Delkin or Yuye, so I have no idea what to expect from here. I have very few cards from Delkin, so I'm really excited to see what type of cards are uh, tucked away in his particular pack, but I'm gonna save that for the end. Haha. -ha. We're gonna open up a Yu Yay pack. Some Yu Yay. Yu Yay! Sekka's Light. Lindbloom. Golden Dragon Summoner. Illusion Balloons. Performer Pal. I imagine it's gonna be a whole bunch of Performer Pal, a whole bunch of Odd Eye stuff in this particular pack. Double Iris Magician. Aether the Empowering Dragon, and Performa Pal Teeter Totter Hopper. Yep. <laughs> oh, another Sekka's Light. Oh, it's. I didn't realize it was limited. Draw two cards. Also. For this card, you cannot activate spell trap cards or faster step Sekka's Light. Oh wow, so you can, on turn zero, you can activate this, get uh, two cards, and then activate it, its uh, effect in the graveyard, again, shuffle one light monster from your deck, or from your hand into your deck, and then draw a new card if you didn't like that particular monster. That's very powerful, I can understand why that's limited. And the band plays on. I absolutely love this card. Not the effect, but the art, art itself. Just really cool. Oh, there he is. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. The signature card from Arc V. Yeah, besides, like, Pendulums, Odd Eyes, and, 
uh, Performer Pal, I'm not quite sure what else he's going to have in here. Green Turtle Summoner. Hmm. Dragon Pit Magician. Do Dog You. Performer Pal. Trumpanda. Oh, Supreme King Gate Infinity. Very powerful to use just as a uh, pendulum gateway. Oh, Fairy King. Recover, and the band plays on, and perform a pal, Wim Witch. Oh, wow. I've never gotten three card of the same card from one pack before. That's a new one. Wisdom Eye Magician. Performer Pal Skeeter Skimmer. Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon. Performer Pal Panta Dragon. Or Pant... No. Part Naga. Sorry, Part Naga. And three Performer Pal Bot Eye Lizards. Now another thing that kind of annoys me about this game is once you get three copies of a card, if you get any more copies, it just literally turns into nothing. You get absolutely no reimbursement. The game doesn't check if you already have three copies and gives you a new card instead. No. You get absolutely nothing for more than... if you get a fourth or more copy of one card. It's... That's one annoying thing. It'd be nice if, if you could, like, save those copies and just, like, sell them back for... even if it's just, like, you know, tiny amounts of, uh, of, uh, points. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, the fact that you get absolutely nothing is really annoying. Is that really blurry here? I'm going to try to reset that just to make sure. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Sorry. Well, yeah, that's one thing I really find annoying, is you get absolutely nothing for, uh, multiples of, or, yeah, once you hit your fourth copy of a card. Another thing that would be cool, but I can understand why they did not implement it, would be being able to trade cards. But that would be really, uh... I can understand why they didn't do it, because literally you could easily... Uh, build up your deck really, really fast that way, as opposed to having to play the game a whole lot to earn it. Ooh, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. Typhoon! Remember Dice Foon? Yeah, that was a card, too. couple of more Yuye packs, and then we're going to open up some Declan. Breaker the Dark Magical Warrior. Very nice. Really? He's considered a rare. I wouldn't expect that. Miracle Wave. Last Yuye pack. Oh, Reborn Tengu. That's kind of a random card. And now we're going to go to Declan. I've never opened a Declan pack. I'm honestly really intrigued to see what type of cards are kept here. Mythical Beast to Master Cerberus. Ignite. Vector Pendulum. The, D the Draco. Oh, oh, is he going to have... Oh, this could be interesting. Amphromage, Dino Mist, Yasinju, Mythical, Beastry, Zephyrith. Cool. 
Zephra War. Magical something. It's something. Majesty's Pegasus. Razor the Me Oh, Mega Monarchs. Interesting. Ignite, Crusader, Abyss, Actors, Backstage. Co oh, Cosmos, huh? Interesting. It A lot of things that didn't really make it in the um, storyline. Ascending Dra Draco Slayer. Okay, here we go. Yusinju, Abyss, Playhouse, Fantastic Theater, Shadal. Oh, Shadals? We finally found Shadals? Abyss Actor, Aphromage, Abyss Actor, Ignite. Magispector Unicorn. Metronome. Metronome. Okay. I get the joke there. Uh, the Firestorm Monarch. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, Zephra Sa... Okay, I'm going to try. Zephra Saber, Sword Master of the Necros. Okay, it looked much harder than I thought. Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. Dynamist... Quilf's End and Pendulum Paradox. Interesting. A lot of... A lot of stuff... Like, all the stuff that was cut from the Arc Re storyline. Masterpiece! The Band Card! This card's like... If you can get it out, this card's like... Undestroyable. Like, you can't get rid of it. Unless you can, uh... By sheer power, just attack it. Ignite Templar, DD Reroll, Yasinju, Magic Spectre, Raccoon, Mythical Beast, Gar Garuda, Frost Blast of the Monarchs, and Mythical Beast, Bashkalisk. Oh, that's a fun one to say. Bashkalisk. I was wondering if, uh, the true, if, uh, that one card was going to be in here or not, and it was. Curtain Call. Spirit of the Fallwind, DD Cerberus, Magic Spectre Toad, Ogama, Recoilate, Magical Something, Cosmo Tin Can, aka R2D2, and Amformage Leechery. Fun. DDD Gust High King Alexander. Oh, that's right. Of course, he's going to have DDs. The Kaiju Files. Old Entity. Cthuga. I'm guessing that's a play on uh, Cthulhu, right? <laughs> Abyss Actor, Curtain Call, Curtain Raised, Quillfort Disc, Cosmo Splendor, The Monarchs Erupt, and Dark Contract with the Entities. The Dark Contract cards are interesting. They are very powerful, but they're at the same time very, very uh, double-edged sword if you can't deal with the life point damage. This card, I've always seen it everywhere as being like a really, really uh, powerful card and quite desired even after they printed it in common. Dynamist Howling, Lucius, the Shadow Vassal. Mythical Beastery, Magic Spectre Fox, Magic Spectre Tornado. Very cool. Let's get him up to 100 and then open up a few Zuzu packs. Quillfort Stealth. 
Oh, March of the Monarchs. Very nice. Mild Turkey. Hey, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. That's actually uh, topical. Cosmo Sword Troopers, aka Storm Troopers, and Prime Monarch. Should be last pack unless we get three dupes. Phantasm of the Monarchs. Mythical Beast Garuda. Mythical Beast Jackal. Cosmo Light Sword. Abyss Actor Sassy Rookie. Sinju, okay. Well, I'm gonna open up a couple packs of Zuzu and then I'm gonna call it a video. I gotta say, I really, uh, I enjoyed the concept of being a dual tainer, but the story mode for Arc V was chaotic and absolutely just unnecessarily confusing and kind of felt like a mess most of the time that I was playing it. Luna Light, Leo Dancer, Aquarium Set, probably my least favorite story mode out of the four that I've played so far. No, definitely my least favorite story mode. However, I really like the idea of being a dual tainer, you know, putting on a show while you duel, not just letting the monsters do it for you, but you actually like putting on a show, maybe like you have some sort of choreography or uh, dance routine or maybe you're a trapeze artist, maybe doing some sort of really cool flips and stuff. That, that, that sounds like a really cool premise. However, the story mode that they put it on just fell f flat, in my opinion. It, it was unnecessarily confusing and... Uh, they tried to make it like a really complex story, tried to bring back a lot of fan favorite characters, but it, it, at the end it just didn't work in my opinion. We got some gladiators. Melodious. Gym Knights. Have some pretty cool cards here in this particular pack. Of course, Rescue Rabbit. A card that was really, really good when it first came out. Still pretty good today, but nowhere near as good as it used to be. Falafel! Everybody loves falafels. Ancient Gear Explosive. Aquarium Stage. Gladiator Lash. That. And Doom Dog. Alright. Probably my last pack. Invoked. Jim Knight. Preta Plant. Preta Plants are here too. Fusion Fright Waltz. Jim Knight. Test Ape. That. And Gladiator Beast. Uh. Mumilo. Alright. So that was opening up some Arc V booster packs. My goal is to try to have at least 500 cards total from every pack. At least from the first five series. Arc or uh, V reigns, I haven't decided yet, but at least from the first five series. So this entire block here still has to be unlocked and raised up to 500 before I want to go hop online to actually test the waters with my skills and my deck building abilities. Until next time, this has been Booster Box Buster. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to see future content like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts on the video in the comments down below. Until next time, this has been Boosterbacks Buster, and I'm signing out. Peace!